In this video, we will learn about the Marshallian demand function, which is one of the most famous demand functions. And it is attributed to Marshall, who lived from 1842 till 1924. So this is the uh, person to whom this demand function is attributed. We have another demand function, which is known as Higgsian demand function, and we will learn about it in the next video. So it is also known as the money income held constant demand function. This is a very suitable name because it explains it all. It guides us that in this process we are keeping the money income or the budget constant. And when we do this, we get the Marshallian demand function. As symbolically written here, the demand function of uh, attributed to Marshall is basically a function of the prices of the goods and the money income now how we can get the certain uh, form of it we can do this uh, by using the Lagrangian multiplier method and we can also develop the indirect utility function as a result of this process now it is pertinent to know what is indirect utility function it is actually the maximized version of the utility function which is developed after substituting the Marshallian demand functions into the utility function so utility function is here written and it is a function of the price of x and price of y and i. This is what it will look like once we make it the maximized utility function or the indirect utility function. But right now in the beginning we are given a standard form of a utility function and we will make this indirect utility function by going through some procedure. So indirect utility function would be uh, at the optimal cost uh, or where the prices of the commodities that is Px and Py and the budget would be maintained at a level as already mentioned above that budget would be held constant. So the utility function has a Cobb-Douglas utility uh, Cobb-Douglas specification here you can see the sum of the powers is equal to 1 so it makes it a uh, standard form of a Cobb Douglas utility function. Since we have a, a utility function, we should also have the budget constraint, and this is the standard form of the budget that we usually use in our analysis. It's a linear one, and this is the Lagrangian function. Here, the utility needs to be maximized subject to this constraint. We have inverted the constraint by keeping I on the left hand side and shifting these uh, to expenditure terms that is expenditure on x and expenditure on y to the other side. This is lambda which is the Lagrangian multiplier. Now we can develop first order conditions that is they will be equal to zero. As you can see all of them are equal to zero. The first one is with respect to the first independent variable which is x. The second one is with respect to the second independent variable which is y and the third one is with respect to lambda which is the third parameter in our analysis. We can do the partial differentiation of the Lagrangian function with respect to x, with respect to y and with respect to lambda. Now this is how we solve it and uh, in the next step you will see the solution. Uh, you can pause the video and do the simple simplification as well as the partial differentiation. You will get three terms that is one, two, three, these three equations instead and um, once you have these you can solve them simultaneously because you have x, y and lambda. These are the three values you can find out. However, our focus would be on x and y right now. So the first two equations are similar. I can use them by extracting the value of lambda from them this will allow me to get rid of lambda and then the resultant equation can be solved with the third equation which doesn't have lambda and has only px and py so it's very easy to solve it once if we develop an equation with px and py only so the first equation is converted into this when we extract the value of lambda from it the second order condition will look like this after extracting the value of lambda and then both of these can be equated so we have equated them because both of them are equal to lambda. 
now this simplification is easy you can do this you can pause the video and see this rearrangement and consolidation it will give us y in terms of x and you can further uh, use this equation in the budget line that is the third foc that is the first order condition and this will give you this form here instead of y i'm writing this the value of y which we developed when i do this uh, it will be simplified it will go through some steps and finally we will get the value of x uh, which is not just x in this case because it is the equilibrium value or as well as it is the marshallian version of the demand function it is in lines with the standard form we can go back to the standard form and the standard form should have the prices and the budget in it as you can see the prices and the budget in it and in this final answer we have the prices and the budget we don't have both of them we have only one of them so it is normal because uh, its own price x is dependent upon its own price not on the price of the other good because if it does it becomes a couple of uh, related goods now we find out the marshall in demand function for the other good that is y for that i can recall this y equation that i developed by solving the first order conditions that is first of them and second of them equation 1 and 2 i used and i found the value of y in terms of x now i have the value of x so i can put it here so that i get the value of y so the value of y in the marshallian version would be equal to this i'm putting this value of x here in this bracket instead of this x so after putting this value i can simplify it and i will get this answer which is the marshallian demand function for good y in y asterisk m is the notation for it once i have the two marshallian demand functions for the two goods that i have i can find the indirect utility function which is represented here with u asterisk we can use v as well some in some books they use v so it, it's some notational matter doesn't matter much now for that as i told early that i can substitute the virtual in demand functions into the original utility function going back to the original utility function this is the original utility function and in this i can substitute the marshallian demand functions so here the marshallian demand function the other one now we have added these m as well because they are marshallian version so the next step is definitely the substitution of x asterisk m and y asterisk m simplification is easy i have made it easy for you by overlining the constant terms that i have gathered here and becomes 0.5 and by underlining the invest uh, income term or the budget term and then summing it up because its power would sum up to 1 this is the price term p of x and p of y so now they are rearranged in a way that looks quite solid that is the coefficient p of x term p of y term and the budget term so in this way we have developed the indirect utility function that shows the maximized utility by consuming x asterisk m and y asterisk m of the two goods that we have which are actually the marshallian demand functions and in this we observed that we use the Lagrangian multiplier function and the indirect utility function was a function of price, income and the other price. We can go back to it and verify that the indirect utility function is a function of px, py and i. So this is how we can use Marshallian demand functions to find out the maximized version of utility which is known as the indirect utility function. And in the next video, we will learn about the Hicksian demand function, which is another type of the demand functions. Thank you.